Hey guys, it's JP of Simohoni Triforce with my up updated Arcanine Assault Mode deck. Um, I'm going to show it off to the changes I made. I'm also going to show off the side deck support. So, first, you start off with three Arcanine Magician Assault Modes. It starts off with 900 points when special summoned properly. It gains two spell counters, 1000 points for each counter. And you can remove all the counters on this card to destroy all cards on the field. One of the better Assault Mode monsters, I would say, is second only to Stardust. Next two knights and sorcerers. Sorry if you got if there's a glare, I can't fix that, but I think it's still pretty good. Knights and sorcerers when special summons, remove two cards in your opponent's grave from play. Um, oh yeah, it helps out. You know, you could stop the dark arm from eating. Uh, I haven't played in a while, guys. I'm really not catching up as much. Two eccentric boys, one of the better tuners in this deck. When you summon it, you can use. Use a, one monster in your hand as another synchro material monster. So, pretty much, summon Eccentric Boy, easily use it with level 4 monsters, and you have an instant Arcanine Magician. Only downside is that the effects negated. But with Assault Mode Activate, you won't have to worry about that. Um, two Magical Exemplars generates the spell counters for this deck, and also helps with synchro summoning Tempest Magician, so just combining with Knights and Sorcerer. Um, two breakers. I pre I previously had Prince Magicians in here, but they only had one target, which was nice then, so I pretty much updated this deck to special summon more. Um, with two breakers, well, everyone has breakers effect, gains 300 points for each counter. Remove a counter, destroy a spell or trap. Uh, next up, Crusader of Endymion. Um, 1900 beat stick when summoned. As Gemini can gain 20, its attack points can go up to like 2500 and place a slow counter on the card. Um, two Oracle of the Sun works like a Cyber Dragon. If you have monsters, if you have no monsters and your opponent controls a monster, you can special it from your hand, combine with Gale, Night Sun, Eccentric Boy. You have amazing level 8 7 synchros. Two trickies works the same way. Discard a card, special summon, and level five, two thousand beater, easy to summon, helps out with Stardust Assault mode. Um, here's the new change: is one summon a monk, discard a spell card, summon a monster from your deck, can attack. Good for tuning monsters like this card, and Flame Vells, Flame Vell Magician, Gale, a bunch of other tuners. Helps out. Blackwing and Morphing Jar, these are just common staples that I have in here. Morphing Jar just simply lets you get a new hand. Gale does what it does. On the spells, two magical dimensions. Really useful in the stick. Let's special summon the spellcaster by tributing one monster on your field. The tributed monster does not have to be spellcaster, so you can tribute a Morphing Jar. Or, you know, just do what you do. Um, Lightning, MST, Heavy. Uh, heavy giant trunade and heavy. All the staples of this deck. Um, well, you guys already know what they do. You know, they come in every structure deck that they ever make. So, brain control, another staple. And the drawing engine, assault teleports. When you get your assault mode monster, sometimes it can be dead draw, so you're gonna want to have these handy. And it's also a plus one for your for, for your deck. Now for the trap cards, uh, Mirror Force, Torrential, Call, let's see what else, Phoenix Wing, Wind Blast, basic staples, you guys know what they do, um, good for defense in this deck, and I also have Threatening Roars, good for stalling in this deck, because you're going to want to stall a lot, summon out your Assault Mode monsters, and next we have two Assault Mode Activates, I mostly use the third Assault Monster for for discard effects such as Tricky, Lightning Vortex, or just keep using them with the Salt Teleport. That's why I only use two of these cards in here. And two Magician Circle lets you summon out your Spellcasters, which in this case is a lot of targets. Uh, lets you special summon a Spellcaster with 2,000 or less points. You got that, you got that. Pretty much all the cards in this deck can be special summoned by this effect. And yeah. Really useful card in the assault mode deck if you're running spellcaster style like I do. Um, now next is the extra deck. The synchros haven't changed because I haven't bought anything in a while. 
but I'm gonna be buying some dual strip evolution packs soon. So hope I get good pulls off of that. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, they're the same synchros as they were before. You got Goyo, your staple synchros, two tempests. It pretty much generates the spell counters and helps speed Arcanite assault mode or Arcanite. Um, Stardust. I really need more Stardust, guys. If you, um, I have my binder increased a little bit, but so I might show the next binder in a couple weeks. Um, Colossal, Staple, and you got Black Rose, two Arcanites, your level 7 Synchro Monsters, which makes makes it easy to summon with Eccentric Boy, and I just need a few more Synchros. I'll probably put like a trade in my wants list down below. And so now we have the extra deck. Now, just know I do have a few proxies in here because it's Deck's not complete all the way, but um, start off with two flame bells. Combos really well with Summoner Monk. Also with Magician Circle. Knights, well, not Knights End, but combos really well with my other monsters like Summoner Monk and all that. And you got three Stardust Assault Mode. Um, if you guys have them, please trade me. Really need them really bad for this deck because I want to side it. So it's pretty much two decks in one, you know. Star Assault Mode, the best assault monster ever. You can stop anything. 3,000 beater. Um, next we get to the spell cards. One monster reincarnation, common staple. Good discard if you get that Arcanite or Star Dragon Dead Draw. Cold Wave, I heard it might get banned pretty soon, but you never know. So, um, Two Book of Moons. Like I said, I have proxies in here. Really good, can deactivate your opponent's monsters effects, works good against X Savers. And um, Econ, I might get a pack of gold, I don't know. Probably goes for it a little. And the traps, um, you got two traps done for that anti meta advantage because Stars to Soul Mode this is pretty much already an anti meta card. The traps done, you're gonna negate your opponent even more so they can't do anything. And two mirror votes for that anti glads. Because Glads are getting pretty popular nowadays. Because they were never hit by the ban list except for Rescue Cat, but I don't know why most people don't play them. And finally, Starlight Road. Good common, good common staple on Stardust deck or any deck at all that uses Stardust. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that was it. Um, I hope you like this deck. Comment what you guys want to say below. Rate, comment, subscribe, and peace, you guys.